Okay, so to start the sleeves, again, we're going to do the same thing that we did when we did the front and back panels. So we're starting with our basic stitch anti-pilling and our 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. And we're going to make them the same. So the ribbing is going to be the same width. Um, so what you want to do is put a slip knot on your hook. And then we're going to chain 12. Okay, and then in the second chain from the hook, we're going to single crochet in that chain and in all the chains all the way across for a total of 11 single crochets. So we have our 11 single crochets for our first row. And for row two, we're going to chain one and turn, and we're gonna single crochet into the back loop only in each stitch all the way across. So you'll have 11 stitches for each row of your ribbing. And we're always going to be working in single crochet in the back loop only. <clears throat> so depending on what size you're making will determine how many rows of ribbing you're going to make. This is going to be the cuff of your sleeve, but you're just gonna continue to repeat row two. So single crochet, back loop only until you have the correct number of rows for the size that you are making. So I am making the 2X, so I will have 30 rows when I'm done with the ribbing of my cuff. So make sure that you are following along with the written pattern and you are making the correct number of rows for your size. So I'm just going to continue repeating row two until I have a total of 30 rows for my ribbing. All right, so we have our ribbing done. This is the cuff. And now we are turning our work 90 degrees and we're gonna be working along the edges of our ribbing, same as we did for the back and front panels. And we're also going to be switching to color A, which is the chenille appeal yarn. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the chenille peel yarn. And at the end here, I'm just gonna draw up a loop and then I'm gonna pull my basic stitch yarn tight. And then I can chain one for the chenille peel. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and cut off the basic stitch here, leaving a tail for seaming. And now we're ready to start row one of the main body part of the sleeve. So our first row is going to be an increase row. This is like our initial increase row. Um, and then we will be doing some, um, like a ta partially tapered sleeve and we'll be doing increases as we go up. Um, so this first row, we're going to be working into the ends of um, all of our single crochet rows from our cuff. So in the first row, we're just going to single crochet one. Oh, sorry, extended single crochet one. Sorry, I got confused there, switching from single crochet. We're, now we're gonna be using our extended single crochet. So we're going to draw a loop up, basically chain one, and then draw through both. So one extended single crochet. In the next end of the next row, we're gonna do two extended single crochets into that same end to increase. Then in the next end of the row, we're going to be doing one extended single crochet and then two extended single crochets. 
So we're just going to repeat that back and forth. So one extended single crochet and then two extended single crochets. And again, you're going to end up with a different amount depending on what size you are making. So since I'm making the 2x here, I have 30 rows that I'm working into, but I'm going to end up with 45 stitches at the end since I'm increasing every other stitch. So just continue to work row one all the way across, alternating between one extended single crochet stitch and two extended single crochet stitches. And we will end with one, or sorry, two extended single crochet stitches in the last stitch, I guess the last row. So this is what we will have at the end of row one. And then we're going to be increasing on either side every few rows. So I do recommend following along. You'll see this chart is included in your pattern. Um, so I'm gonna kind of just explain how this is read. So the size you're making is running along the top here. So for me, I'm making the 2x, so I'm gonna follow this line all the way down. So at the end of row one, we have 45 stitches. So I'm just gonna work straight across, single or extended single crochet in each stitch across for the next few rows until I get to row seven. And that's where I'm going to do an increase. So I do recommend using um, a row counter here. It's gonna help keep track since the chenille peel yarn, it gets kind of fuzzy. So we've just completed, oops, oh, I had it upside down. We just completed row one. So I'm gonna mark one row here. And so for the next one, two, oops, one, two, three, four, five rows, I'm just going to be working extended single crochet all the way across. So I'm gonna chain one, turn, and work one extended single crochet into each one of my stitches. So once we're done with these five, just regular straight across rows of extended single crochet, um, I'll meet you back here and I'll show you how to work an increase row. So follow along with the pattern um, in the size that you are making and work the number of row, straight rows that you need to work, and then I'll show you how to do an increase row. All right, I just finished row six. So our next row is row seven. It's an increase row. So remember, they're gonna be different depending on what size you do, it will depend on what rows you're doing your increases on. But an increase row is very simple and they're all work the same. You chain one and turn. We're gonna work an extended single crochet into the first stitch and then two extended single crochets into the second stitch. Then we're just gonna work extended single crochets into each stitch across until we have two stitches remaining. Okay, so we just have two stitches left here. There we go. So in the next stitch, we're gonna work two extended single crochets.
and then one extended single crochet into the last stitch. And that is how we work an increase row. So just follow along with the pattern or follow along on the chart. So I just worked row seven for my size, which is two X. So I've increased by two. I'm gonna work another um, group of straight rows here and then increase again and continue to follow that pattern all the way down until the very last row here. Now, when you get to the bottom and get to the end of your sleeve, you can easily adjust the number of rows. You can add them if you need longer sleeves or shorten them and take some out if you need shorter sleeves. Um, but go ahead and continue working the pattern, following the chart and making sure that you're working those increased rows as you go.